Good morning, it is Monday and we are trying to get back into our routine for today. Today is also the first Monday of October and if you guys have watched some of my earlier videos, you know that we are doing a no shopping, shopping fast, cleaning out the pantry challenge, whatever you wanna call it, that's what we're doing. And I need to work on my menu today and finish cleaning out the pantry and finding those items that I want to use up. It's gonna be an exciting day. It's going to be a busy day. It's gonna be a busy week. I've got a lot of parties. I've got a lot of 31 and EMS stuff going on this week. So here we go. Even though we're really busy, it's really important to us to keep our priorities in order. So the first thing we're doing is school this morning. Mary is working on coloring a turkey picture. And Charity is, we had a chair that broke. Um, Charity is planning out her October in her planner. What we do with Charity's planner is her and I usually sit down together and we make out the plan of everything she should accomplish for the month of October. Then it's up to her to set her schedule and what works with good for her each week. And so far, this is the third month we're doing it, right Charity? I think we did it in August and September. It seems to be working really well. Charity thrives on that type of flexibility and she's pretty well self-motivated so she can do that. I'm still working with John making sure he gets his things accomplished every day because he's, um, different people have different motivational, different people have different ways of motivating themselves and John just needs that daily guidance still. We have the Monday laundry that needs to get folded and put away and Gracie is playing in her castle. Are you the queen of the castle? Nice castle. I'm working on making some beef stew in the Instant Pot. I'm not sure if I'm going to make the whole thing in the Instant Pot or not but I'm gonna at least start the cooking process and getting that beef nice and tender in the Instant Pot. And then I also threw some bread in the oven, so we're gonna at least do stew and bread for lunch. Haven't gotten as far as dinner yet, but I'm taking it one step at a time, trying to control everything and manage everything and keep on top of everything with what I with what time I have at the moment. Lillian did not sleep long this morning. She got up at about 11 or 10:15. Usually she sleeps until 11 or 11:15, but we're transitioning her to the big girl's bedroom with a crib. So I am expecting that to be a little bit rocky for a couple days. Everything's in the pot, and now I'm gonna pressurize it for about 20 minutes. Full, <gasps> Mary. And you can cut it out because I don't want to break it. All right. Well, let's finish coloring, and then I can cut it out for you. We'll test the beef to see if it's tender and then we'll start adding the rest of our ingredients. That was 20 minutes and it's not quite as tender as I would like it to be so I'm putting it on for another five minutes and then we'll check it. I have some leftover carrots and gravy, beef gravy from a couple nights ago. I'm going to toss that in there. I also have some leftover onions and squash. We're going to toss that in. I'll throw that in there. And then the squash. And, the and maybe we'll throw some. The bread is all done. The stew is done. Pretty much anything that was in the refrigerator hopped in the pot. At least, I mean, you know, within reason. Um, and this was a good way to just get rid of some of the little leftovers, odds and ends that was in the refrigerator. Make a big pot of soup. We'll get it gone this afternoon, and we can start fresh. <laughs> time and Charity and I tag teamed it to make dinner tonight and we're trying something new. It's an eggplant lasagna. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, that looks yummy. Eggplant lasagna. And we have our other loaf of bread. 
And Art helped make a tossed salad. And it's mostly garden fresh stuff. It is. Still playing catch up from the weekend. But I think, I think we made a little bit of progress today. And Gracie wants to do some swift ring for me. That's what she's saying in the background while I'm talking to you guys. I'm back home. I went to my 31 Better Together meeting and got home around 8.30. And we got the kids in bed and it's about 10 o'clock. We're getting ready to settle down. But I had an absolute blast at my Better Get Together meeting. It was just me and six, seven other ladies. And we just, all we did was sit around and talk about 31 and all the new exciting stuff that's happening. And I know you guys keep hearing me say how much, you know, I'm doing 31 with this and 31 with that. And I will tell you, it is such a joy for me to be able to do this, to go be with ladies um, once every couple months, and then just to interact with all these all, all these other ladies um, that I party with. It, it really is exciting to me. I have a ton of fun doing it, and I love, I love bringing happiness and joy to the hostesses I'm working with because it's just, it's something out of the ordinary that I do, and I'm telling you, I am so thankful that I've had this opportunity. You guys know that when I started this well over a year ago, this was not going past December, January. I was going to have Lillian, and that was going to be the end of it. And it has been, dare I say, life-changing for me. <laughs> so it was a blast. I'm like on this pink bubble high. I had a ton of fun. And I'm going to, well, it sounds like Lillian's up. So I'm going to go take care of her. Thanks so much for watching. I'm not sure if Art got footage while I was gone or not, but whatever the case, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.